you've taken on the the role of being the the face of the Save Australia Day campaign, which has been launched by uh, Mark Latham's Outsiders. There'll be advertisements on uh, television and and radio. Now you put forward the the case for uh, Australia Day in those ads, but I'd I'd like you to um, state here in your own words uh, why did you decide to get involved in the campaign? Why does Australia Day need saving? Uh I got involved because I think we are missing the point as to what, you know, why we celebrate Australia Day. Uh, we're missing the fact that we are so focused on um, so many negative um, issues with regard to our country, we completely forget that we are one of the most luckiest countries in the world. And, um, you know, so many issues are painted in black and white when really um, it's really not that simple at all. Uh, and those who campaign fiercely against Australia Day, who are descendants of Aboriginal people, um, themselves are of mixed heritage. So it doesn't really uh, make sense. Um, I, I, you know, I've put forward the fact, the, what, the reason why I support Australia Day, uh, because I, I, I like the fact that we can, you know, celebrate a country um, that has helped make me who I am. I mean, if we, um, you know, if, if the first fleet hadn't arrived in 1788 and, and then the following fleets, well, then I certainly wouldn't be here because my mother is, is a Warburi woman um, and my father is a white Australian man. And, um, you know, I've grown up in these two very, couldn't get two different cultures, um, very different cultures in the world, I think, uh, you know, with one another, living with one another, being part of one another, I feel I am a product of um, reconciliation in this country. And, you know, regardless of what happened in our past, we cannot change that. You know, I, my ancestors were brought here in shackles. Um, my grandfather was once shackled, um, just like the images, you know, we see of, of Aboriginal men um, being shackled. Um, but he not once... Um, you know, projected any any dislike or, or blame or or hate toward Aboriginal people. Um, he understood that life was very difficult uh, before white fellas came. You know, uh, Aboriginal people were trying to um, get away with killing one another. Uh, your traditional enemies were were at war with one another, and then white fellas came along, and and Aboriginal people were at war with them. Um, some Aboriginal people. Uh, ended up having relationships with with white people, even even back when when white fellows first came to this country. So it's it's really it's it's complex, and it's really not as straightforward as white versus black, as um, yeah, activists would have have you think. And again, if we change the date, it's not going to change what happened to both sides of my ancestors uh, back in the day. And if you choose to be offended by it. Well, that is simply your choice. You could choose to be a bigger person and you could choose to say, okay, well, you know, I want to take the morning and, and I want to reflect on our country's history and think of those who have passed away, you know, think of those who stood on the shores in 1788. Uh, and then as the day progresses, uh, you know, let's look at how our country has pr progressed how, um, you know, the fact that, that we have the oldest, the world's oldest living culture and, and a modern Australian culture and we're not wanting to kill one another. Um, uh, we're in fact wanting to come together and solve our issues and the vast majority of us in this country are not in fact racist. We want to come together. Let's look at all those wonderful positive aspects of our cult culture and move forward and look forward in hope that things can change and things can be better. Um, you know, I just, if, if we decide to change Australia Day, what will be the next demand from activists? We have heard our government say sorry. Um, now we want to change, change Australia Day. And apparently, according to, it's according to a small group of people that, well, if you do this, then this is the act of reconciliation. This is, you know, who keeps telling us what is supposed to be, you know, setting the agenda for us. Um, it's a small group of people and the rest of the Australians are going, hang on a second, I'm, 
you know, they're being singled out and called racist, but they're going, I'm, I'm not a racist person. I don't like being called a racist person. I've said sorry. I've done this. I've done that. Why do we keep being, um, why do we keep being held to ransom? Why do these demands keep being made? Because we keep uh, folding and going, right, oh, okay, we'll do this then. You, I can bet you, uh, you know, that if we go ahead and change Australia Day, there will be another demand to follow because what hasn't happened is the activists and those who don't feel like they're reconciled with white people will think of something else. They, the activists will, you know, they haven't yet forgiven, haven't forgiven. Sorry has occurred. Forgiveness needs to take place in order for this idea of healing to take place. The two have to go hand in hand and we're not seeing that. What we're seeing is it's almost like, you know, a kid with a toy. He said, give me back my toy. Right, oh, give me back. Okay, now you've got to do this. Now you've got to do this. No, I'm not satisfied until you do this, this, this and this. When will it end? Let's keep Australia Day and let's be big enough and grown up enough as a country to all of us learn our history, learn it and all, all with all its complexities and understand that it's not just simply black and white and and yeah let's reflect and let's take take in and understand what happened um, to indigenous people in this country but let's move forward let's recognize what we do have you know let's recognize that we are one of the world's luckiest countries and we do a bloody good job at you know this idea of multiculturalism we do a good job at recognizing one another and making the effort to do so and you know I, it's time to move forward it's time to really move forward forgiveness needs to happen and changing the day the day of australia you know australia day isn't going to mean anything to this country's most marginalized it's not going to do a single thing for aboriginal people um, for the children who are, you know, suffering sexual abuse, for the women who are suffering domestic violence, it is not going to do a single thing for them. It doesn't make it doesn't make a difference. I've I've gone out to communities and I've asked my family, well, what do you think about changing Australia? They they couldn't care less. You know, they've got they've got greater worries than changing the day of Australia Day. Oh yeah, you're, you're too right on that. I mean, there. Uh, if we, you know, change Australia Day, there'll be another another demand. Like it's it, it's never enough. This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.